Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. So uh, today we're going to be going over um, how to import samples into and or Logic Pro 10 or uh, GarageBand on uh, your MacBook. So this version right here, I used um, GarageBand because I don't have my other laptop open right now. And sometimes it's just a lot simpler to make. Um, if you look at one of my last videos, I put out a free house music drum sample. And basically, um, if you look here, I got so many of the stems or the track outs. So you'll get those. You'll get the full, um, you'll get the full uh, track. It's a two-minute track. Uh, you'll get a mastered, and you'll get one that's unmastered also. But you'll also get each one of these stems in it as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out and then I'm going to give you an example how to bring those tracks into a new project. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to save that. It's going to ask me new project. All right. So what we do here, it asks you a new project and then what you're going to do, like I said, we're using GarageBand here. So this is a tutorial. Logic Pro is pretty much the same thing, but um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the samples and bring them in. So this isn't just good for like producers. It's good for um, it's good for a lot of different people. Like if you just want to drag in, like if you're doing some type of recording, like a podcast or something like that, it's good to actually learn how to do this stuff. So I am going to go to my beats here. Um, this is the one I just made. Here you see, you're going to get something like this. You go to my website, www djwhatelse.com the link will be below in the description and you can get the samples there you can get these samples there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and drag them in just like so and all it does is just basically adds them and you'll see they all line up now the only thing you might have to do here is change your tempo i think this is like 125 i believe but basically, you just have to. Uh, I'm gonna just drag them over right to the very beginning, and that's going to be it. And if you want to make sure they line up, you go to after the fourth bar, and that's pretty close. Yeah, I think that's good. So what you do is you just check them, and then what you what you want to do is if you have to. I'll make another video on this, but if you wanted to, you could control T and you know you can kind of do whatever you want with this stuff. So, you know, if you want to take that and just bounce that, and I'll do a video on that as well. But um basically, I'm gonna go control Z to go back. But that's how you drag them in, and then you can play around with the volume and everything. So say you want, you know, you want certain things sounding a little bit more, you know, higher. Then other things like you want the volume to be higher on other things like say with your claps and things like that. I always I always play around with. If I drag this up here, I always play around with these two right here. I always make my claps just a little bit lower than my kicks, and of course there's EQ and things like that as well. But that's it, guys. So um, that's basically what you can do when you get my uh, samples. Um, and I'll also be putting out some hip hop drum samples as well. Um, like I said, you can get them on my website, you get them really, really cheap for the most part. Um, you can get this whole sample that I put out in my last video for free with the email, but you want these stems right here. There's like four different patterns with uh, different interventions in each one, so. But that's it for today, guys, so. This kind of gives you a tip on how to drag samples into your DAW. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. All right, peace.